and welcome back to my uh, road test of my Kyosho Toms. Uh, I'm just going to give a bit of a walk around of the car and uh, yep, so there she is. Looks good out in the daylight, I'd say. Anyway, let's get the cover off and have a look underneath. So, yeah, I'm running the uh, mid with uh, all old school gear. So, we've got you know, 1700. Panasonic P170 match cells, uh, a Super Vortex Samwer ESC, a uh, Kyosho Option House 240SB in there. Um, I'm running a well, KO EX5 radio, 29 meg AM, and uh, obviously with matching receiver, and a KO PS1003 FET servo. Yeah, so this isn't exactly a uh, stock standard uh, Tom's. It's had quite a lot of mods, uh, which include the Option House Platinum Dampers, front and rear. Uh, I've actually flipped the rear arms over and I'm running an extra rear tower, as you can see there, which um, has the uh, shocks mounted to the back side of it. So kind of like what the laser did. And uh, that's I've worked got really my, well for um, me. Handheld video camera ready to go on a tripod. Um, unfortunately, I'm on my own, so I don't have anyone else to uh, hold the camera and film, so I'm just going to pan it out and um, yeah, give the car a run on, the, on these courts. Sounds absolutely perfect. So yeah, these, these batteries um, have only just had their very first charge and uh, they were charged 24 hours ago and I'm surprised how well they're holding up. Um, Got a good little turn of speed for all old gear. And of course I'm running option house uh, tyres all around, so two inch um, reproduction Marwan rears and uh, some genuine fronts and yeah, just like give a run and run it on something that was uh, you know period correct, so no 2.4 modern rubber. I wanted to do it with the old school. So in regards to the styling of the um, Optima Mid Custom Special Body, I've always had a real thing for this shape body. Uh, it's not to everyone's liking, I know, but um, for a, you know a vintage race car, it looks very modern, I guess. And for its time, it was uh, yeah very aerodynamic. And uh, you look, I just like the style. So yeah, there's the Optima Mid. Uh, she's out there having a bit of a run around. So I don't have anybody to hold the camera to film it, so I'm just doing the best I can off a tripod. Yeah, I'm actually quite surprised how well the car is actually driving, considering that everything is old school, uh, you know, 29 meg AM crystal radio system, uh, you know, the old sub-C 1700 cells. Um, yeah, it's all old school, so a brushed motor, so nothing under the modern tech, and I'm sure if I had have uh, discharged and peaked these batteries off the spot, they'd be a bit more punchier, but yeah, I'm very happy with how they are. Yeah, this car's had a complete rebuild from the ground up. Uh, every last nut and bolt has been very, very carefully cleaned and prepped and the ball diffs are very carefully rebuilt and adjusted. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with the, with the drivetrain on these cars. Nice and, it's got its own nice quiet. Uh, yeah, it's nice and quiet. Um, no grinding gears, but yeah, it is running 48 pitch spur and pinion. Uh, so probably that's better than the 0.6 module of the uh, of the original standard gear set. Interesting how the runtime of these old cells are actually holding up. So I've been driving it for around about, you know, uh, six or seven minutes overall. And um, yeah, they're still holding up just fine. And while most people are used to brushless power and LiPo batteries, uh, you know, this thing's holding up just fine. Uh, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it's fun just to get out and enjoy it. For so yeah, that's the uh, 
Kyosho Toms. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy about this car and uh, I'm sure some other people out there are uh, supporters of this model as well. And um, yeah, really glad to be able to share it with you guys. So yeah, please uh, like, share and subscribe and I hope to continue bringing you some interesting videos on some very interesting cars from the 1980s and early 90s. Thanks for watching.